Well, where do I begin? Uh, for some reason, you're my friend on Facebook. Either uh, we knew each other growing up, or maybe we've met one time, or um, maybe we've never met, and for some reason we're friends on Facebook. Who knows? Or maybe you know me really well, and you interact with me on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Uh, maybe I work with you. Maybe I... Um, met you somewhere and, and we hit it off or for some reason we're friends on Facebook and so um, I'm taking a liberty I guess and whether you watch it or not or turn it off or whatever you do to it it doesn't matter but um, what I'm about to talk about is going to be hard for some um, something happened to me and uh, I feel like I want to share it with you um, if I say um too much just start counting it and make it a drinking game I don't know um, again drink Anyway, uh, yesterday I was uh, headed to pick up my wife. She had been gone for seven days, and I had uh, I have two little kids, and um, I'd been watching them, and took off some time from work, and just uh, just spent time with my my kids. And uh, my parents came out for half the week. I still handled the kids and did everything good, but I was going to pick up my wife from the airport uh, late last night. She'd been at a wedding and uh, had the radio on. It was about 9 o'clock, driving down to Colorado Springs. I live about an hour away from the airport up in the mountains. And um, I was listening to the radio, and they kept talking about all the 9-11 celebrations going on, or 9-11 commemorative services, or uh, stuff in the park, barbecues. They were talking about flybys, and um, F-16 planes, and different things that were going to happen today um, commemorating the the tragedy that happened 10 years ago and I, and I remember I was thinking as I was driving um, you know my wife is flying on September 10th the day before the 10th anniversary of what took place and so that's what was going through my mind and, and, and just that was what was happening on this drive down. And, I, and for those of you that, that know me, um, you know I'm a believer in, in Christ and, and God and in the Father. and um, I really believe we are, we are all sons and daughters of the Father. And I asked the Father, I just started praying and talking to Him and driving through the canyon and, and, and asked Him, Father, what happened? September 11th. Not not about the, 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 the planes flying into the Trade Center or down in Pennsylvania or the, uh, the Pentagon, but what happened with your kids? Us. Why? Why did it happen? What was your purpose? I'm a I'm a believer that, that everything happens for a purpose and that it's designed that way. I don't believe the Father brings on tragedy. I just believe that's the way the system that He designed works. Bad things happen, good things happen, uh, what have you. But as I was talking to the Father, it quickly became apparent to me that that's not the answer or the question I should be asking. As a matter of fact, there was no question to ask. Father spoke to me that last night. And for those of you that know me, I'm normally on the other side of the camera interviewing people about their stories. But it touched me, it, it, and, it, and, it, and, it's, and it resonated within me, something. Father said, quit asking why and forgive them. Forgive who, Father? Forgive the, the terrorists that flew the planes into the, the Trade Center. Forgive the terrorists who flew into the Pentagon. Forgive them who, who, who took the lives of those in the plane over Pennsylvania. You want me to forgive them? And the father didn't quit. He wasn't, he wasn't offended by my questions. He wasn't offended by what I thought. He began to speak to me about things that I talk about about being a favorite son of the Father. How my wife and my kids are daughters and sons of the Father. How you, whoever you are behind this, this computer watching this, you're a favorite of the Father. 
No matter what you believe, no matter what your, your system tells you, you're still a son and a daughter of the Father. He began to remind me of these things that come out of my mouth. Because I'm from Texas, and I remember September 11. I remember thinking, we don't back down from nobody. Send our boys over there. Destroy them all. Ten years ago, that's what I thought. But today, I know half a world away, there's a family member who was also touched by 9-11. Now, I don't condone or can... I don't think that, that anything that happened on that day was good. And I'm a proud American. But past my political beliefs, past anything that happened... If you're a believer in the Father, and you believe the Scriptures, then forgive them is not too far off. But it didn't stop there. He began to speak to me and say, Michael, I not only want you to forgive them, I want you to bless the families of the individuals who were responsible for 9-11. Bless them. Yeah, I'll bless them like I bless the dude who cuts me off. He spoke to my heart and said, No, from the depths of your heart, from the from the from the love of the Father that's in you, Michael. Bless them. Bless their families. Bless the generations to come. Bless not only their their lives and their bodies and their and, and their prosperity, but bless them beyond what you can comprehend. Bless your enemies is what the scripture tells us. Doesn't make sense. We as Americans sometimes feel that God's only on our side. We bless the troops that go overseas. We pray protection around our troops and our military personnel who are fighting in too many wars that I can even mention. But who are they fighting against? This isn't about what you believe as an American. This isn't about what your political beliefs are. This isn't about whether you support the war or, you have a, or you're a troop or you're a, a, a wife of a troop or a mother or a father of a troop or you're, or you're wherever you are. If you believe in the Father, you've got to believe the same people half a world away are His sons and daughters. You see, the Father spoke to me and said, the same blood that I shed on Calvary for you, Michael, I shed for them. So today on September 11, 10 years ago, as our eyes were glued to television sets or on the cell phone trying to reach out to someone we knew that was up there, or, or we lost somebody. Can you take a moment today and bless your enemy because they're sons and they're daughters of the king. That's it. I don't know if it's stupid or crazy or if I'm going to get a hundred comments that tell me I'm an un-American or, or what it is, but the Father laid it on my heart and I lay it out between my Facebook friends, right? You liked me. You watch my comments. You see it happen. But today, I spent some time in prayer. On the mountains, no less, as I saw an F-16 fly overhead Rampart Range as I was on my Sunday morning mini bike ride. And I prayed for the children of those who caused 9-11. I prayed for the wives and the parents the grandparents, and the generations to come. I pray a blessing on my enemy because you're my brother 
You're my sister. The same Father I love is the same Father who loves you. And no matter what has happened over the last 10 years in the, the, the lives of the innocent that have been caught up in the middle of this war, I bless you. And I ask the Father to speak to you right now. Speak to your families. When you poke me, I bleed. When I poke you, you bleed. That same blood was shed for you. That's it, guys. I don't know. That's what the Father laid on my heart. This is my tribute to 9-11. I bless the terrorists.